This channel's real, this channel's about documenting, this channel's about talking, having an open opinion. And let's get started. Say bro, say bro. Say bro, say bro. Head of a horse, the body of a man. Unidentified flying object. Welcome back to another video. What's up guys, it's me, Do Not Obey, and let's get into a short video. Now, I'm going to leave you um, like a little website if you guys want to look at it. I've scrolled through it quick. This is about the sleeping giant. Now, I do believe that giants did exist and they still do. Also, we're going to jump into uh, Roger off of Mud Fossil University, and I'm going to pull a clip out of his channel, which I want you guys to go watch the full video i think it's like 30 minutes i believe but i'm gonna pull a clip or two out just to draw you guys in and how he's able to prove that these mud fossils once again were living creatures or organisms our mountains aren't just rocks they're castellized alleged bodies okay hope you guys enjoy So for more of the story, um, I got the website up there. It's like New Haven or something. And let's go ahead and jump into Roger and let him explain what he does. Aluminum silicates, which is feldspar. Everything, everything, all the mud falses, 100% of them are coated with feldspar. And they say if you can find a rock that's not coated with feldspar, it's a rarity. And that's true. All right, listen to this. This is from Rich Discoveries. It's about sleeping giant hand in Connecticut. This is a sleeping giant where they were quarrying part of the sleeping giant. Now listen, to, here's what it says. The work started around 1884. By 1924, the townspeople wanted them to stop. They were quarrying the sleeping giant. The quarry work started to destroy and take away their beautiful landscapes. They formed an organization to stop it. Sometime around 10 years later they finally won the case to save the beautiful mountain it was bought and turned into a state park for the protection of all times now i'm going to show you what this actually is now let me see what he has to say over there. let me see him 
Alright, and here is where the actual Corey work was done. I'm gonna try to angle the phone up here, the camera up. This is really high. <laughs> you can see the, uh, let me try to cover my hand. You can see all the fog up there because it's raining. This is what they, they call took a huge rock. chunk out of this. Well, they took the whole thing. where they were mining Corey. Now, if you look at the ground, over here is where the mountain used to be. So all of this they took away. The mountain was way up at the top, just like it was right next to it here. All this grass that you see right here, this was all a mountain at one time. It was the it same goes as the rest. Right to there. It's like in a big U shape. So where this is all. Now, I'm going to show you the. Google Earth representation of this. This it was a giant. There's virtually no way you can deny it. Right, so don't forget, they all knew about Habermas, all, all the tribes. And the head speaker is from the Nipmuc. And he should know the stories about Habermas, I'm hoping. So let's go see what Habermas was. And then, they, like I showed you, they mined half of his chest. All right, so the story is that Habermas was put to sleep by the local Indians because he was so destructive. And I've heard of stories like this. Um, to me, they're true. Like, honestly, like there were a lot of things that were going on before we even existed or were looped or we were looped back in. There's things that we forgot and there's things that we don't remember. Remember, it's his story, not his story. It just kind of frustrates me because the world was it's still magical and scary, but all the books that I know I read as a child in the 1980s growing up, The Never Ending Story, Narnia, all this stuff, y'all, this is based off of a reality that already existed on this planet. That is just one of my theories. And here he is laying right here. Now, this is a Connecticut. All right, and this is Long Island. And here is Sleeping Giant. Now, let's go in and look at him closely. And like I said, they mine. Now, I'm going to circle this around, and you'll see exactly. And here he is right here. All right. All right. This is an overlay. And this is what I say is the giant. That's just one out of billions that we walk upon, walk through, and think is just rocks and mountains. You'd be surprised what tunnels we walk through, okay? And this is his body. Now, they removed all of this stuff up in here, his chest. All of that they removed. And that was that what the guy was standing there looking at that, all that real dark black stuff up on the hill. And we're gonna focus in down here and look close. Now, they removed all this, you see? They just came in and excavated that. That's what it was flat. That's what he was standing on, saying this was a, at one time was a mountain. The same as this. And he's looking right into the mountain as we were. Now, you see these green spots? You see these very green spots? Here, here. Right up here by his neck. At the knee, at the feet. Where the fleshy stuff is on his gut. That's very green there. Well, why is it so green there? And you can see it's only green basically in where his body is. The rest is, is runoff, but it's not where something really can dig in and grow into some f literally flesh. And that's what this was because it was a giant and a flesh. And, I, and, and it's, I see it all the time, extreme green where there was a lot of blood. And there was a lot of blood up here, his carotid artery. And up here where his heart is and all that stuff. Down here, some of his guts or whatever. And anywhere, wherever the feet are and fingers and toes are, there's usually a lot of blood. And in this case, that probably ran down more to his feet. But anyway, this is what I'm saying is his body. And we're going to come in here and look at that lung. And it's very, very hard to dismiss this. All right, I may have gone over this, but let's do it again. Wherever you... All right, so I'm going to leave it right here. I love Mr. Roger. Um, just when you have time to sit down, um, it's about, you know, 33 minutes long. I'll leave the name so you can find the channel um, and also the video that I'm watching. And I hope you guys, like I said, really enjoy, learn something from this and be able to do your own research. And you never know. 
you may, you may live next to a giant yourself, your own sleeping giant. So like I always say, guys, do not obey. Stay woke. Peace.